I wonder what the ultimate and ugliest would look like. Think I'd rather not find out. However, say you liked it, thought it was beautiful, that would make me feel beautiful, and the dress would go on manufacturing more and more beautiful patterns, searching for the perfect balance of colour and design, the ultimate harmony. And I could sit here for hours and hours and become the most exquisitely decorated creature that ever lived. Until something disturbed the balance. A straight thread of miserable doubt crept in and wrecked the whole thing. No, I don't think psychochromic material was designed to wear in front of the mirror. You have to be unselfconscious, letting it react to your reactions to what's going on around you. And try not to look embarrassed. It was really only ever for my looks that you married me, wasn't it? We never actually had anything in common. I couldn't match your superior intellect, assist you with your work. All that research, all those pages and pages of numbers, symbols, calculations. I never had a head for figures, unlike you. <laughs> you just wanted a wife you could impress your colleagues with, show them what good taste you had in women. Men actually say that to each other, don't they? I must congratulate you on your Jason Wimble, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was simply an asset to your career. <laughs> Something that added to your image. The dependable family type. Two intelligent and pretty children. Stable home life. And a good taste in women. I didn't mind, though, I must admit. There are far worse motives I can think of for marrying someone. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What's this, Alan? What is this? I may have a line or two coming around the corners of my eyes, but not a great crow's feet like those. And where did those dark circles come from? I don't have dark circles like that. See? They're not there on the neutral channel. Nor on the children's channels. <laughs> Only on yours. Only on your channel. No, it isn't like that. It's not all loose and wrinkled chicken flesh. There's something wrong with it. A loose connection or something. I mean, I may have just turned 30, but for God's sakes, I don't look like that. Why do things always have to break down? <clears throat> Reflectotronics, hello. It's about my mirror. It appears to be milk. I want to report a fault. I want to report a fault. <laughs> fault! Fault department, yes! Computers, do you wish to report your thoughts? Hello? No, I'm sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Uh, are you an engineer? <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon, technician. Good. Well, you see, I have one of your mirrors, and... Mrs. Eleanor Bryant, apartment 2DX120, residential complex 11. Right, so about this mirror, it just isn't working properly. No, not all the channels, just one. My husband's, actually. <laughs> Can you hold on one moment? Are you there? What? So, it appears to be distorting. Yes, I've tried manual focus. It's not so much a question of focus. 
work is it's more the, um, the texture of the image. Well, it's sort of hard to explain, really. Couldn't you send someone over to have a look at it for me? I'm sure it isn't anything serious. It probably just needs adjusting or something. Yes, it is quite urgent. I need it for tonight. I'm going out tonight to the theatre, and I'll need to use it before I go. I mean, I can't leave the house without knowing what my husband thinks of the way I look, <laughs> especially when he's away on a business trip. This afternoon. Yes, that would be fine. It would be marvellous, in fact, if you could prepare it today. As I said, it probably isn't anything serious, but... Between three and four, yes, that would be fine. Thank you. Goodbye. A nasty looking pattern.